In this video, we're going to talk about moving from QGIS into Illustrator. So in order to do our first export, we're going to boot up the little uh, native wizard that lives inside of QGIS, which is called Print Layout. So if we head up to Project and then down to New Print Layout, that's going to ask us if we want to give it a name. We can call this one A3 landscape one to 5,000. Okay. Now your print layout will look something like this, depending on the version that you have, you probably have a more recent version of this, but the basics will be the same. You've got what is effectively the same as the artboard or the canvas in Illustrator. So the first thing you want to do is check that this kind of canvas space here is the same as your illustrator, as your destination illustrator space. Uh, it's already in the A series proportion, but if we right click on the empty page, bring up page properties, we'll see that it's actually A4, which is not useful for us if we're going to be working with A3. So let's just change, go ahead and change that right here into 420 mil wide and 297 mil high. There we are. So that's our A3 artboard ready to go. And then we're going to place on top of this a map. Now the most straightforward way of doing this would be to simply click and drag. You can do it like that. You can, it's quite smart in that it will actually, um, it'll actually snap to the edges of the artboard. So you could do that as well, but if you wanna be hyper, hyper precise, you can just click on your mouse, left hand mouse once it will prompt you new item properties, and then you can manually enter your 420 by 297 mil window. There it is, and then you can just drag that and snap that into place, however way you wanna do it. Now, before we proceed, it's worth noting that within the print layout wizard, there are in fact two cursors. There's the one I've been using up until now, and then there's also one called the move item content cursor. If you ever get confused or lost in this wizard, it's worth knowing that because it freaked me out for a long time before I figured out that in fact there were two ways of moving and playing with the geometry of the wizard. The top one, select slash move item. That's how you're actually moving around this frame. The second one, move item content. If we select that, now we're actually panning around the main drawing as it exists within this frame. We can pan, we can also zoom in and out. So if you're trying to zoom in and out of the, of the, what would be the project space of the print print layout nothing's happening and instead you're just messing up the scale of your drawing then check which cursor you're using so i'm going to get us back on track with the move item content cursor to sort of center it on central london and then i'm going to more precisely adjust the scale of our drawing just over here I'm gonna change this to 5,000. It just says 5,000 here, but imagine that there's a, a one colon, yeah, in front of it. Zoom out. And there you can see that our item, our sort of our map item has picked up that scale. And if I just wanna make a final adjustment of the position of that, let's say we wanna focus, have as the very center, the Houses of Parliament right there. Then we're ready to go, we're ready to export. And the most straightforward way of doing this would be to go to Layout, 
export as SVG because that's a format that Illustrator likes. Remember, if you accidentally click back into your main drawing space, you won't have that option because you'll be back into your main drawing, your main QGIS drawing spaces. So just find your way back into the print layout. Hit export as SVG. Tell it where it needs to go. Now on your options for exporting as SVG, it's really important that you uncheck this. Otherwise you'll probably end up with an invalid SVG. Always expect as vectors, however, export the map layers as SVG groups. And rendering map labels as outlines. I mean, that's up to you. I don't have any labels in my drawing, so I'm not gonna worry about that for the time being. Press save. There it is, ready to go. Now if I open this with Illustrator, pop it open. There it is. Just zoom out. And there's our project brought into Illustrator. Now you'll notice that not only has the scale been preserved, but the layer structure has been preserved as well. So if I just turn off all of these layers and we can work our way through them. Layer one, that might be nothing. Layer two, this is the background. I had a background turned on. Uh, you might not have a background. You might not want a background. And here's our first layer. This is the uh, green spaces layer. If I pan back into our main drawing space, you can see it's this layer here, TQ green space site. And if we bring in the next one, tidal water, you can see it's in there. There's our buildings. And then finally on top is our, these are listed buildings. These are the sites of listed buildings in London. Now, you may notice that these individual objects, although in the, in the space of QGIS exist as point objects, in Illustrator, they will have been converted into polygons. Now, there is a way around this. For example, if you're unhappy with the way they appear, and you might be completely happy with the way they appear, you might have, before exporting them, uh, change their appearance uh, in a way that you're happy with. But if you wanted to turn these into symbol instances, that is the kind of symbol that Illustrator operates with, then you'll need to perform a kind of transformation. Unfortunately, there's a very quick way of doing so. And that's the subject for the next video.